Hi, my name is Doug Howard. I'm class year 2009 and 2011. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but I only say Philadelphia because I'm really from Winmore, Pennsylvania, just, just outside the city limit. Um, I can throw a baseball into Philadelphia County from my parents' uh, front porch. Snoo just kind of popped up on the radar and it looked like an interesting place. It was a small school. That was really what I was interested in. And when I went to go visit, it just kind of had something that the other schools didn't. Well, I, I ended up um, working with adults with developmental disabilities for about a year and working with adults with dual disorders, helping them get their GED. But if they got their GED, then we'd help them prepare to go off to community college in Philadelphia. I really didn't know what I was supposed to do with my degree. You know, I, I think that having the opportunity to teach and realizing that I like being in the education setting um, was very helpful for me in trying to figure out what my path was going to look like. At, um, it was called Horizon House. Um, it's a local nonprofit in Philadelphia, and my opportunity there teaching adults with dual disorders um, was just eye-opening because I had I knew that homelessness existed, but I feel like I was in a bit of a sheltered situation, or like I had seen it, but I never really had a chance to understand what it was. Um, so when I came back to school in New Hampshire, and I finished my master's degree, and I had an opportunity to work with um, young people at what's called Second Start. It's an alternative high school. Um, in Concord, New Hampshire. When I had opportunity to work with students there, you know, they were telling me about some of the things that had gone on in their lives, and it just made me realize, like, this is more than just a Philadelphia issue. This is pretty widespread. And uh, that summer, I was looking for job opportunities, and I happened upon one for Child and Family Services in New Hampshire, and uh, they were they were nice enough to offer me an opportunity to work for them, and I'm very grateful for that opportunity. I would suggest going and volunteering and seeing if it's the right population for you. Um, I think that a lot of people have an idea that they want to work with youth, or let's say you want to, people want to work in an elementary school, but turns out they really should have no business being in a kindergarten classroom which is fine, it might just not be your niche, but I think that going and testing the waters, doing some observation hours, and getting a feel for what your community needs, it might not be a youth homelessness issue, it might be a veteran homelessness issue um, that you're passionate about, or it might be a mental health crisis that you're passionate about.